morning, everybody. Jackie here. I am alive this morning at the Des Moines Performing Arts Civic Center because there's something pretty exciting that's about ready to pop coming up on Monday. We're talking about the Iowa High School Musical Theater Awards Showcase, and you can probably kind of see, or at least here behind me, students funneling into the main space here because rehearsals are about to begin once again this morning, getting ready again for that big performance on Monday. So we just kind of want to talk about what this process is all about. We just heard uh, from Caroline what the Iowa High School Musical Theater Awards is all about the process of adjudicating all the schools that are involved. But now we want to talk about rehearsal week and kind of uh, the culmination of today and leading into Monday. So very excited to have Sarah Florian joining us here from Des Moines Forming Arts. OK, we can hear the, the tune up of the piano and some vocals that I'm sure are going to start here in a matter of moments. And we just met one of the amazing professionals that was brought in. Uh, and that's what this is all about, bringing in professionals, educating these students and keeping uh, this going for Monday. Yeah, so we bring in a music director and choreographer to work with these students throughout the week. Um, so far this week, they've been working on the opening number and the closing number, so we'll hear the opening number here in a little bit. Um, and then later this week, we start tucking in the excerpts that you'll see from school musical productions and um, recognize the great work that they've done throughout the year. And, and this is a, a, a way to honor uh, the showcases or I should say the productions that have been happening in schools literally all across the state of Iowa that Des Moines Performing Arts has been able to be a part of and get adjudicators to. How are we able to highlight that uh, coming up uh, with so much over the course of a school year? How are we able to make that happen on Monday? Yeah, so throughout the adjudication process we um, we honor and award uh, the different things in different categories of these musical productions, whether it's tech things or, or acting and singing. And then um, we work with our adjudicators to curate from the awards received uh, what will be on stage that evening. So we have a pretty awesome night planned on Monday. And, and there has to be a lot of pieces in place when you're talking over 600 students on a stage at one time for the opening and the closing, especially that's why they keep working on those numbers and you hear it in the background. Uh, th that takes a lot of work. Why is it so important for Des Moines Forming Arts to make sure that this is done right? Uh, every single year and continues to grow. I think it's an amazing learning opportunity for these students to have this professionally produced experience. Um, not only working with the caliber of guest artists they're working with, but that backstage and the whole process is really at that high caliber and that they have that opportunity. And how does that continue on with what Des Moines Forming Arts, besides just putting on spectacular you know, Broadway shows and beyond here at the Civic Center and other spaces in, this, in the Des Moines Metro, how does this expand upon the educational program of making sure arts is staying strong and alive in the school systems? I think we're really, really highlighting that something that's, something that's very important and very valuable. and. Um, what a great way to do it than highlighting our students and what the great work that they're doing. Yeah, absolutely. So what are you most looking forward to, uh, not only throughout this week, but then coming up on Monday? I just love the peer-to-peer -peer collaboration and the way that they inspire each other to rise to the next level. And Monday is just the best night in the theater. I absolutely love it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's amazing when you can see people that have never worked together side by side and putting something pretty amazing together. OK, so let's talk about the school portion of that. So we do have a director and student from Union High School that are, are joining me over here. Hi guys. We do have uh, Karina Carlson and Riley Davis. So we just want to talk about from the school perspective of how important uh, Iowa High School Musical Theater Awards is. Uh, I'm going to start with you as the director. Why was it important for you to be a part of a, a program like this? This has been a great opportunity for us to have students have the opportunity to see a big stage because they're, they're used to our 400, 500 seat auditorium and, and hopefully selling out. And then they get to come here and they have the opportunity to be on the, the Civic Center stage. And that's such a big deal for our kids who don't necessarily get far away from school. Absolutely. Now, uh, we were talking during break and you said Union High School became a part of this once it expanded and went uh, border to border completely across the state of Iowa. Why was it important for you to jump in and say we need to be a part of something like this? We really wanted our students to have the opportunity for the feedback, to have professional people come in and, and for the directors also to get that feedback and see how can we improve, how can we continue to learn, how can we show these kids how you continue to learn and how this is great life skills and, and just learning how to be around other people. What would you say to uh, maybe some other teachers, uh, parents out there that their students aren't a part of a program like this? What would you say to encourage them to maybe give it a thought for the next school season? Don't be afraid. It's okay to have people tell you, hey, you know, maybe you should look at this and, and, and look at the growth that your program can see. We've seen huge growth in the five years that we've done this, and we're constantly thinking about that as we direct in big picture. I was just going to ask you about that. Have you personally seen growth in Union High School uh, with being a part of this program? And what, and what does that look like? Our shows, the kids have higher expectations of themselves. We, we 
tell them ahead of time what we're looking at. We know that we need to, the areas that as directors, we need to get better at because we see trends. Oh, we heard that again. We need, to, we need to find a way to fix this. We need to find an opportunity so we can learn and get better. And are you able to take that then to the administration and say, look, we have a, a higher bar we're setting for ourselves, so let's invest in the arts in our, in our school system and make that happen? We are very fortunate. Our administration has always been super supportive, and we were so excited when they expanded and we could be a part of this, and they were all behind us 100%. As a director who I'm sure just dotes upon your incredible students and being able to make it to the showcase on Monday, what are you looking forward to, and, and, and uh, what would you like to share with our audience this morning of what they can see if they come out here on Monday? On Monday, it's just the joy and the amazement of the students and being able to see a a crowd this big and a theater this big and the the joy that they have it just exudes from them to be able to have this opportunity to yeah. perform yeah. and it's one of the most supportive and amazing audiences and performances you're ever going to see I'll just throw that in there Riley you're a student that's been a part of this for a few years yep. take us through kind of the emotions as you hear fellow students behind you warming up and getting ready to go into rehearsal what does this all feel like and how have you found this to be beneficial as a performer uh, well it gets your blood rushing and it's super cool because you get to be with so many people that are like you and it's good to know that other people there are supporting you along with um, the musical and stuff like that. Absolutely. Have you found uh, that this has helped you in life being involved in arts and, and other things in, in your life or, or what has this meant or is this just something that you love of being involved in the arts? Um, it's really broke me out of my shell. I know that in years past I was kind of like anxious to be able to like sing in front of people but now that we come here and we get to perform in front of all these people it really doesn't hold you back anymore. You know, ready to take the Civic Center stage by storm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. And I love seeing the director's heads in the background bopping up and down. You've seen results not only in your administration and your school program, but in your fellow students as well. Yes, the kids gain a lot of confidence in, in being able to do this, and they, d they just grow so much when they get to be around other theater students and professionals. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you both. Congratulations on being here, a, a part of the Iowa High School Musical Theater Showcase, which is coming up this Monday at the Des Moines Performing Arts Civic Center. Few tickets remaining. You need to go to the box office downtown or go to dmpa.org. It's that simple, but an incredible opportunity for schools literally across the state of Iowa. We're all about local, and that's what this is all about. There's also a link. In case you're not able to make it here or it's too far of a drive, there is a link where you can watch live on Monday as well. Now we are going to come back once again and talk more as we head on out listening to the amazing vocals of hundreds of students on the stage. As we come back, you're watching Iowa Live here on CW Iowa 23.